Now imagine I'm talking to you like this. Wouldn't be apt, na? Huh? Or me talking like this. You can see, but still you won't get the feel, right? Now how about this? Now it is much better, na? Huh? This is how exactly a rider feels while driving during the night. Uh, as in, you know, without lights or with the stock lights. And now this is compared to the fog lights, you can say. So this is what I exactly wanted to kind of demonstrate. Since I've given my bike for service, I asked them if they can uh, put in the, you know, the auxiliary lights. And they said yes. So I've just come to this place, um, HRTZ Mods. I believe we get the auxiliary lights. I was looking for auxiliary lights. Oh, which bike, sir? Yeah? Tiger. This is the? Last model. I mean the top. Top model. Yeah. Because your bike is Tiger now, so I am sorry. Okay. This is 80 watt. Okay. Basic model also I would say. Okay. Which is the model previous to this city? I mean, I just want to check. This is the top one, na? This is the top one. Okay. Top bus is 60 watt. Okay. That is uh, 90. 80 watt. 80 watt. Okay. One more model. Total four models. No, no, Pratik, that's okay. I mean, uh, lesser than this, no point in putting it in, <laughs> right? Which is that, by the way? Scoutex. Scoutex. That is also 4 LED only, ah. but 40 watts. Okay. The shape is wrong. Okay. This is uh, 4 LEDs, 4 but 60 LEDs, watts. 4 LEDs, 60 watts. Okay. This is 6 LEDs, right? Yeah, 6 LED, 80 watts. Okay. All right. Okay. And you need to add wiring harness to the texture. Oh, for the full texture, yeah? Okay. All right, so Pratik, I'll go with this. So what all I need for this, I mean, Actually, along with that? Sir, this is, say, 80 watts now. Huh. You need to go for wiring harness pro. I've heard that uh, there are two different wiring two different. Right. One is wiring harness, huh? that is actually 10 watts. Okay. Uh, this is 80 watts now. If you're you need higher, higher, uh, higher right. quality and this is actually 15 watts wiring harness. Okay. You need to go for this one only. Okay. For this model. Correct. For this. We could have gone for a lesser one. Lesser one. Okay. And uh, Scout X also you can, you can go for 999 only wiring harness. Okay. Scout X also you can go for wiring harness. Okay. But for this, if you're going this, you have to take this one again. Okay. Better option to take this one. Okay. All right. Your bike will be sa safe. Uh, no, no, no short circuit. Short right, right. Means, this wire harness will save your bike wire. Correct, correct, correct. And okay. two types of One is normal suit. It is also waterproof only. Uh -huh. But warranty will not be there. And this is 6 Pro, you will uh -huh. get 18 months of warranty uh -huh. and push, this is also good for that. Okay. Oh, this, this is also light will come. Uh -huh. and this also light will light come. If you switch on it, here okay. red color light will come. Oh, okay, okay. Got it. And Alpha also will have 18 months of warranty. Okay. I think 2 years or something? No, 18 months. 18 months. 18 months. 18 months. 18 months. 18 months. Okay. Okay, I've got this uh, entire kit. Entire kit is of the Mad Dogs. I'll tell you why I went along with the complete Mad Dog set and uh, not with any other. But for now, I'll just show you what all I took and what are all its uh, purposes. This is the Alpha light. This is the top uh, variant in uh, Mad Dog. Uh, the one below this is the Delta and the one below that is some uh, Scout or something. But um, they suggested that uh, you go with the Alpha one since mine is a big bike. Uh, so hence. So this is the light you get. I'll just uh, remove it for you guys. This is the clamp uh, which will get attached to the light. And this is the light itself. This is a 80 watt 9600 lumens. The throw is around 300 meters, but it will go a bit further again, uh, depends on the road conditions. Pretty well built, I would say. What I'm doing is, uh, since I've left my bike for the service, I'll get this installed at uh, the service center itself. So this is that. This is all the nuts and bolts for the light. Here it is along with the clamps. Next is the switch. This is again, this comes in two variants. Uh, the normal one and the pro one. 
uh, they said if you're going for the alpha you go with the pro so this is completely waterproof and uh, this which works like this uh, there's an LED indicator also which will come like a circle so everything in this is a uh, plug and play so there's no need of uh, cutting any wire as such this is the clamp this will get attached to your uh, crash guard they've given all the bolts also so that's there this again wiring harness is the pro one uh, which uh, suits the alpha paper so these are the filters i just show it to you guys not a good way of removing it but uh, it's okay so these are the caps which will uh, go around the lights and uh, you get plates here this is the black dot plate if you do not want to use the lights at all there's a groove in here if you can see here there's a groove you can fit this inside this and it will be completely blacked out if you do not want to use the lights at all you can use this filter they have given multiple rubbers and we've got filters as well uh, so this is for uh, this is the yellow filter which will be useful uh, you know while night riding or in foggy conditions if you do not want to use the yellow filter you can just use the transparent one so that's about it i'm heading towards the triumph service center now just another pro tip you can say when you get these filters from mad dog you get these uh, yellow and the white ones which i showed now these ones are not the actual color there's actually a plastic covering out here if you can see uh, it's very thin I, I didn't know actually i was wondering why it is so faded and how would the light uh, go through with uh, such a fade uh, but then the guy actually said you'll have to remove this and then see uh, if you remove it a bit you will find a very clear coat of uh, you know a plastic uh, or a fiberglass inside so uh, that is what it is so for the people who are not aware i'm just giving a heads up and another tip if you're installing you know these covers for the leds always put in this yellow one to the right led and uh, put this transparent one to the left led because you know uh, in india it's always the oncoming traffic is towards the right so they do not want to be blinded by this uh, you know white leds i mean or the transparent ones see once you remove the covers it becomes very transparent very clear in fact Getting this complete set of auxiliary lights. Hi. I had to talk with Sanjay. I had to fit these lights. Na baha Denali ella. Nano actually check maar the. Vinod thano keli da. Alva. Ado wiring kit tan sota. Switch ella kira. Ido. Aa kada ella. Ha illa kudwa. Ido non salipa jarkse. Illa kudwa dalva. Uh, best of. Uh, so coming to the bit of uh, why I went with the you know the Mad Dog lights and uh, not with the you know the Baha design or uh, the Clear Water lights. See, it boils down to one main thing. It is the cost. Okay. See, for a person who doesn't think of money or who's not bothered to spend uh, whatever uh, amount of money for the auxiliary lights, he or she can hands down go for the Clear Water. Uh, you know the top variant or again depending on uh, the bike which you have. they have multiple variants as such you can go for the clear waters if you want to come one step down you have the baha designs for a bike like tiger it costs upwards of around 50 45 to 55000 again including all the clamps but if you want to come one step down uh, there is another segment uh, you know with this mad dog the hjg and stuff there are a lot many factors which come into play it depends on the frequency with which you travel if riding is your you know hobby passion or it's your main work as such out of these how many rides do you do at night so these are the sort of factors which come into play when uh, you know choosing this auxiliary light as such i went with the safe option i went with the mad dog the store which i went the person said um, the hjg lights which is similar to this mad dog alpha so it has the same throw it has the same uh, watts or the lumens but uh, hjg doesn't come with a warranty so what he said is if you get it installed but if it goes faulty the next day uh, again i won't get any replacement as such because it doesn't have any warranty then again he said he's installed this hjg on his bike as well and it's working absolutely fine from the past couple of years or something it's a bit dicey if you want to go for that because it comes for almost half the price of this mad dog alpha uh but uh, again it doesn't have warranty whereas this mad dog alpha lights uh, it comes with a 18 month warranty 
So I spent around 15,200 and the installation comes up to around 16,000 max. So I spent this much amount for a light which you know I wouldn't be bothered for one and a half years. It comes up to around what 850 odd rupees for a month. I mean if you do the math. I tested this lights uh, before getting it installed and I was pretty happy with its performance. I'll show it to you after I end this uh, conversation. The amount which I'm paying, I think it is the best bang for your buck. I'll try to get hold of any person now, uh, you know, who's installed this uh, clear water, those big ones and uh, try to do a comparison between this Mad Dog uh, Alpha and the clear waters. Let's see if I can do it. You guys might uh, get a better idea of, uh, you know, the throw or whatever the brightness uh, it has. So this is with the normal headlight. This is with the high beam. I'll switch off the high beam. Or in fact, I'll keep the high beam. This is the high beam. Now, this is the throw. It is so bright. I don't think so. The camera is doing justice. But if you see, this is the normal headlight with the high beam. And this is the throw it is giving now. Oh my god, it lights up big time. And if you watch this video till here, you know what to do. Please do subscribe to my channel, like the video and 